Okam Sainz Mahidon from Mahidon University. You have 15 minutes. So take a deep breath and good luck. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so the time begins now. Thank you for the introduction. Mr. Chairman, committees, ladies and gentlemen, we all need food, medicine, habitats, and clothes for living. And without them, we can't live because we will die early and we can't live because we not have any diet. And what the really thing that can make us happy is good environment, nutritious food, and staying together with family, and all together make healthy life. Soil is an essential part for human life, and many things that I that we need come from tree, vegetable, food, which grow on the soil surface, and we all human live on the soil surface. The healthy soil provides us for a nutritious food, functioning ecological system, and support good water and nutrient cycling. Plants growing on the healthy soil that use uh, the amount of nutrient, sunlight, and water to perform the photosynthesis and create the beneficial amino acid, sugar, and mineral for us and in for mineral in the food and for the red apple, as you can see. And in a gram of soil contain millions of bacteria and fungi that support us for nutrient cycling, such as carbon and nitrogen, and drive functioning ecological system. Furthermore, soil is the biggest filter system in the world. Many different layers of soil filter the dirty water from human activity and the rainwater, and which became underground water. For many reasons, the healthy soil should be abundant of nutrients, small animal and micro, and good water and air ventilation. And in summary, healthy soil is not only good for us, but also good for all living organisms in this planet. Unfortunately, soil in most places on Earth are in poor health because of contamination of toxic compounds, drought, soil erosion, and nutrient runoff. It dramatically reduces the crop production, especially in poor countries. Sadly, 795 million people around the world suffer from malnutrition and starvation. In 1960, Dr. Norman Burlach, the American scientist, introduced the Green Revolution. The Green Revolution, the, the Green Revolution encourages the use of chemical fertilizer, seed hybridization, and pesticides. Interestingly, It doubled the crop production in 40 years. The Green Revolution was successful in rich countries. However, the Green Revolution did not benefit the poor countries because of limited resources and their technologies. 
excessive amount of fertilizer from agricultural area causes fertilizer runoff, which contaminate environment, especially in water, leading to eutrophication and affecting aquatic life, like a fish in the picture. These pictures show the eutrophication phenomenon in Lake Erie and the death zone in the Gulf of Mexico. We can observe these phenomenon from satellite. The green color are algae bloom. There is an exit for the problem. The second green revolution we now need the second green revolution, which is sustainable, benefits poor countries and environmental friendly. One of the second green revolution is bio-revolution, which is based on soil improvement, land powering, merging, and complication can make soil more healthier. Another option is root improvement. Root trees that consist of root number, root hair, and root angle enhance soil exploration, which includes nutrient acquisition, resulting in better yield. With the right placement of root plant, can acquire phosphorus and potassium in in the top soil profile, and mobile nutrient, nitrates and water in the deep soil. In Thailand, acid soil is a major problem in farming area, such as locally. Ayutthaya, and some parts of Bangkok. His Majesty the King, Pumipon Nadunyades, proposed his idea for solving acid soil in many areas of Thailand. The idea that is proposed is Gandhi theory. Not only can be theory, but the way to world also improve soil health. Recently, the International Union of Soil Sciences awarded His Majesty the King Pumiponadunyade, the King of Thailand, the Humanitarian Soil Scientist Award and declare the fifth the fifth on December the World Soil Day. In summary, healthy soil can provide for needs, food, medicine, habitat and course. Nutritious foods, good crop production and most importantly people don't have to commute into the big city to work. They can stay together with family. And that healthy life. Thank you for your attention.